back with a quick video here. So last time I was talking about writing some drivers to use some of these other buttons on the keyboards, you know, these start and stop and pause buttons and these ones that'll do open calculators and specifically the volume knob. And one of the ideas I had was, wouldn't it be interesting to use the volume knob as a mouse wheel? So I wrote a quick and dirty little program to do just that. It just reads um, the wheel and puts it into the mouse in as uh, wheel functions. So. I'm going to be using this keyboard here. This one's wired in to just be a standard keyboard on the Pi. Um, this one up here is actually wired into this little Dell Mini PC. And I'm importing the USB, you know, because they just show up as files, from the Dell to the little ARM board here, the Raspberry Pi. So what that looks like is I'm importing in the uh, USB device, putting it in slash N. And I got my little program here that's going to grab just this endpoint here, which is where all the uh, consumer device stuff for that keyboard shows in. So endpoint one is a regular keyboard, and endpoint two is uh, the extra stuff. So I'll go ahead and fire that off, and then go over to this window here. Turn my little video back on so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to go twist the knob, and you can see it scrolls the window. So if you remember from last time, this uh, keyboard here um, outputted the actual full command, the standard command to increase or decrease the volume. And that's the one that comes from USB.org. And so I just have a thing that just parses looking for either of these two values, creating a you know corresponding button value for the up and down, you know, the scrolling function on plan nine, and then sending it into the dev mouse in file. So, which means I can now just use this as a scroll wheel. So having it do something like control the volume would be just as easy. I could read these values and translate them into volume up and down and put them into a, uh, a volume thing. That's a little harder to test on the Pi because we don't have working audio for the Pi yet. Um, maybe for that one I'll have to set this up for even more crazy importing stuff where I import the speakers from another computer and the USB from the Dell and run it all off the arm, but that'll be a video for another day. Um, for now though, yep, just a quick sort of demonstration that's quite easy to do that sort of thing and even do it across the network. So I do have sort of, you know, this one over here kills all of the kill keyboard functions and lets me just read the keyboards however I want. Um, so hopefully that's interesting, and as always, have fun.